Hi, folks. Uh, here we are uh, talking budget funds again. And tonight I'm going to give you my criteria for what I think a budget phone is and kind of a buyer's guide, something to look for. If this is your first smartphone, if you're coming from one of them flip phones, uh, you can get a pretty stellar uh, phone, $130, $140. When you start getting into where it seems like it's too good to be true, it probably is. Uh, and we'll talk about, you know, a reviewer I trust totally, he got a phone, and they were dumb enough to send him this phone, and it was a fake phone. I mean, it didn't even have Android 9. We'll talk about that in a second. I'll link his video. Let's do the intro. We'll get right to it, shall we? So as promised, uh, the first thing we're going to talk about is uh, Mr. J. Williams did a video today, which I watched, oh, I don't know, an hour or so ago, uh, on the x uh budget smartphone, 118 bucks, God knows where. Uh, I didn't even look at the link because I watched the whole video. That's why you always watch a whole video, folks. When you skip through them or decide you're not going to watch the whole video, you miss out on the important info. Because if you watch the first half of his video, you'd have thought, Whoa, I'm going to run out and get that. And then if you watch the whole thing, you'd go, Oh, Jesus, he said, don't buy this, it's garbage. So this company was dumb enough to send him what's essentially a fake phone. <coughs> it had this weird display like 1014 by 480. You know, and people are whining about the... Uh, me hey three heavy seven twenty full HD plus, and uh, come on, one hundred and eighteen dollars, only three gig of RAM, and oh, it's got Android nine. Wrong. It didn't even come with the Google Play Store. None of the Google apps were installed. None. Uh, so it just went right into the phone. You didn't even have to set it up. How does that work? You know, you usually have to log into your Android account to get into your Google stuff. The Play Store was from like 1941, you know, just before Pearl Harbor. And uh, it wasn't Android then. Uh, I don't know if he's verified yet what it was. I told him. I left a comment. I said, just see if it does split screen. If it can do split screen, it might be Android 7. Probably not. Sure, when you went to About Phone, it said it was Android 9 and gave you the little peppermint logo. Wrong, it wasn't. Kind of like that P20 knockoff phone. If you go to my main channel, just go to my channel page at the bottom, is you know, popular videos. 7.7 thousand on me unboxing a P20 knockoff, which was absolutely utter garbage and surprisingly got a lot of hits. So we're going to, I'll, like I said, his link will be in the description below for his video. I suggest you watch it. It'll also be, <coughs> at least for today, in that little strip across sitting in my public likes. So check that out. And uh, we're going to move on from there what my recommendations and how I come to my conclusions are. Okay, first off, budget phone, $300 or less. If it's over 300, it ain't budget. I mean, you have to have a cutoff somewhere. It's mid-range. At 310, it's mid-range. Unless it's got something so cool, like it has the latest Kirin 9, 1,999 processor and has a huge screen and, you know, will wash your dishes for you. Other than that, no. And don't get hooked on the cameras. Uh, you'd be surprised how many of these super low-budget phones, the cameras are utter crap. Uh, 
just get your mind right, save your money, and make sure you buy yourself a good quality phone. Um, you know, now I'll tend to harp on two or three phones, the Mi A2, the Mi A3, the Redmi Note 8. Lately, I think all those are worth your money. Although I did notice something I got wrong in my Note 8 comparison to the Mi A3. The Note 8 only has a 13 megapixel front shooter versus uh, the 32 megapixel front shooter in the Mi A3. Oh, another point for the Mi A3. Uh, sure, less resolution, get over it. But when you buy one of these budget phones, if this is your first smartphone and you've come from a flip phone, you're going to be so impressed that it doesn't matter. As long as it's got Android 9 and it has a slimmer, distant chance of maybe getting upgraded. Uh, there are a few companies I'd stay away from on upgrades. Uh, just based on personal experience, I had a Blue Studio Energy 2. It had Android 5.0. Never got an update. Owned it for four years. Never. Zero. Zilch. Nada. Won't ever buy another Blue Studio or Blue phone again. I don't care. I've seen reviews, and some of them are really good products. Serrano's done a couple. C. Butler. Check him. He's in my list of reviewers I trust also. Uh... But let's get back to my criteria. What, what you're looking for, what you're looking for is a MediaTek processor or a Snapdragon processor. And you, you kind of want a, a six, Snapdragon 660 or better when it comes to you know, Snapdragon processors. You're going to get gaming performance. You're going to get really good overall system performance uh, and you know if you can get an Android one phone I don't care if it's a Nokia uh, um, a Xiaomi me you know a2 a3 whatever and you're gonna get good cameras on all these don't fall into the camera trap the camera trap is, well, you need that. No, you you don't need anything. There's, if somebody's telling you what you need, they don't know what you need. What you need is what will get the job done, and most people shoot snapshots and a short video of their kid blowing out birthday candles. End of story. 99% of the average consumer doesn't give a rat's ass about how uh, the night mode is eating. Most of us go to sleep in the dark. We don't go out and shoot videos in the dark. Just get that through your heads. Get that camera thing out. Uh, a better camera is fine. If you can get a better camera, like the Mi A3 is going to be better than the Mi A2 because of the 48 megapixel the it still comes out 12 megapixels, just like this. Oh, well, this is the front shooter. This is a 20 megapixel front shooter, by the way. Pretty damn decent front shooter. Um, and uh, these phones are in the like 150 to $180 range. Now, the Mi phones are all in the Snapdragon family. But I do have like the new mobile G3 still. And I had a Snapdragon, that was a P25. If you're getting a budget phone these days, try to make sure it's got like a P30, a P60, P90 uh, you know, processor. Those are MediaTek, they're just names. Uh, they're gonna be a little bit quicker, a lot quicker. And uh, Sure, you'll hear a lot of down talk about MediaTek, but they'll get the job done. They will. Uh, you just, you know, if you can get an Android one, go for an Android one because you're going to get those updates, security patches, and uh, 
pretty much stay up to date on the latest Android software. Yay! Uh, you might also have to endure the fact that sometimes the very first iteration of the new Android software got some stuff missing. And you're going to have to reshuffle things. It's okay. You'll get used to it. Number two, screen resolution. Don't worry too much about it. Uh, you know, 720 HD is a pretty decent resolution. Now, if you're into cameras, make sure it'll shoot at 1080p 30 frames a second. That's all you need with EIS. EIS is electronic image stabilization. It'll make for getting a decent video. Uh, you know, it won't be jerking up and down when you're moving, you know. And uh, it'll smooth the video out for you. And, and use an app like Open Camera like I do, so you can use an external mic like I do, and you're gonna get a lot better sound, although I get pretty good sound off the mics on, on here. And watch a lot of videos on the phone that you're thinking of buying. Everything I recommend on here is not usually stuff I've gotten hands on yet. Yeah, I, I, you know, I have the Mi A2. I don't have the Mi A3. I will have it eventually, and I will test the living poop out of it for probably a year. Um, and I probably won't get rid of the Mi A2 because it's, it's a really good phone. Smaller battery, though. Big downside, smaller battery. So you got to kind of six, you know, the Mi A3's got a 4,030 milliamp hour battery versus a 3,000. You're going to go a lot longer. Uh, you want USB-C for charging and inputs and outputs and data transfer and things like that, if you can. Don't necessarily write something off because it's on, oh, it's only got micro USB. Uh, hell, the charging cable for your flip phone is probably micro USB and you can probably use it. Probably. Sometimes it's proprietary. Um, what else are you looking for? The screen res, the options. Uh, Android 8 or 8.1 is as low as you want to go. And it better have a damn decent security uh, level of, say, you know, November. At least, at least it'll be recent. Uh, there's no guarantee you'll get updates with the super cheap ones. So where do you buy these at? Well, Amazon, good choice. B&H Photo, another good choice. And if you're very careful, eBay, do not buy stuff off of Wish, AliExpress. Uh, you can get stuff from GearBest. GearBest usually sells the higher quality products. So does uh, uh, Banggood.com. Uh, they're both excellent places. But dear God, don't buy anything from Wish because all you'll do is wish you had gotten what you ordered, but you won't. Um, and uh, I look at a lot of phones, and, and, and people are probably like, well, yeah, but you narrow it down to like three or four. Yeah, I do. At first, I had it down to just like three for this year. Uh, that I'd, you know, the new mobile's still good, the Mi A2 is still good, and the Mi A3. But the Redmi uh, Note 8 is worth your money for sure. Absolutely worth your money. Yeah, sure, you're going to only get an IPS display. Nothing wrong with IPS, folks. Don't fall for the fact you must have AMOLED. It's the latest technology. Well, yeah, and I remember when fuel injection was the latest technology in cars and they kept dying everywhere because nobody had figured out how to program them properly whether it be Ford or Chevy or whatever. Yeah. I remember when the latest technology was the uh, new Boeing 737 they just came out with. It went straight up and then stalled and went, Phew! 
and now Boeing is stuck trying to figure out what the hell happened and can they ever sell them and they're set to lose billions upon billions of dollars on what was a fantastic deal, the 737, they've been making it for years. It was always good, always good. And they cut some corners. And that's what happens with some of these budget phones. So you can, if you don't see a phone on my site, doesn't mean I haven't looked at it. I probably watched, you know, if I see a cool looking phone, I'll watch eight to 10 videos on it. I'll check the reviews. And if I hear somebody with the same negative comments about a certain thing that for me would be a deal breaker, I'm not going to recommend it to you. It's as simple as that. Uh, the point is we don't want or I don't want to recommend something to you that is budget but it'll end up breaking your bank because you're going to have to get another phone. No one will want to buy that one from you if they've re watched all the reviews on it. If I recommend something, I still highly recommend you check out other reviews. But please use my links in the description below off of Amazon. I mostly look at phones that are available on Amazon. I trust them. I have Prime. I get two-day delivery. I get all my little stuff from them, and uh, it keeps me going. Life is good. Uh, there are brands I don't like uh, for one reason or another. I'm not going to mention their names uh, because they sort of have gotten caught putting dummy cameras on phones. Or it's a three-camera phone that you can put your thumb over the one of the cameras and it it doesn't warn you your fingers over the camera when you're trying to shoot portrait mode. Huh? Yeah. Don't worry about bezels. Don't worry about looks. Is it full screen? You know, don't worry about face unlock. Uh, as long as it's got a fingerprint reader, that's probably the most secure method right now for blocking a phone. And a fingerprint reader on the back is damned convenient. But before you buy the phone, poke around and make sure you can get a skin for the front or a, you know, a, a hard screen protector. Uh, if it has an in-screen fingerprint reader, you might not want to use a dark matte skin. I'm not sure how that works because the light comes out of the, it just can't be seen from an angle. Um, I haven't tried a matte skin on the Mi A3 because I don't have one. I still think the in-screen fingerprint reader is a gimmick. I like phones that have it on the back. You simply, you know, make sure you put a case on your phone too. Look that up. A couple of bucks worth every penny. But like here, this phone, the new mobile, got the screen. Here. So I can lay this face down. Won't hurt the cover because, or the face because it's got a raised lip around the edge of the case. But as I pick it up, I can hit the button, and it's open. It's turned off right now, so whatever. Now, like I said, once in a while, there's a jewel out there. Check, like, uh, Serrano. See, Butler, there's a lot of videos on these phones that I would never think of checking. Uh, lots of Alcatels. Uh, the Alcatels are pretty good phones. I have one with two gig of RAM, the Alcatel 7. And yeah, it's it works really well. You can even play games on it. It's borderline, but it gets the job done. So just stick to the rules. You want a MediaTek P3060 90 minimum. If it's a MediaTek, a Snapdragon 660 or better, if you can get a Snapdragon 710 or something like that, and you're still under 300 bucks, do it. Stick to B&H Photo and Amazon, and whatever reviewer you tend to watch the most, use their links in the description below. That is how they earn money. And, uh, if you found this useful or informative at all, 
or have any questions about what I think about certain films, I may have already looked at a, a couple of reviews on it. I may not have, and if I haven't, I will look at those reviews on it, and then I will come back and tell you. Let me be your researcher. Uh, and, of course, if you're one of these small-budget outfits that want to send me a phone, I'm happy to test it and return it. I got enough damn phones around here. Uh, so, on that note, thanks for watching. Please like, please subscribe and click the little bell. That way you'll be notified every time we put out new content. And uh, that's all I got for tonight. For now. I might come back with something later, but for now, have a fantastic evening, morning, wherever you're at, whatever. And... Uh, Let's go to the outro and I'll throw a couple of videos up in the corners and we'll go with that. I'm about to be vaporized. <laughs>